the whole thing about it to me is sickening because of you know it was it seems like everything was premeditated. I mean, from last week he had the military men and women uh, at the White House taking pictures for photo ops and and talking about these are our true leaders uh, of the world, and then all of a sudden you send Pence to go to the football game, which the question for me uh, is because it's starting to get out of hand at this particular point. Say if the 49ers did not kneel or, or they, they didn't so-called disrespect the flag, would Pence have stayed for that particular football game or would he have left? Because he was scheduled to be somewhere else hours later. So this to me was more a little bit more than a publicity stunt uh, for Donald Trump. He needs to be truly focused on something else because, it, you know, for me being a former football player and an alumni uh, of the NFL, we're totally missing the point of why this is why this all started. Uh, and, and Donald Trump has definitely hijacked this whole deal with the help of his friends in the NFL, most of these owners who continue to vote for him and then also donated a million dollars to his campaign, because now it puts pressure on their shoulders. If Roger Goodell gets put in a position now where he's kind of in a corner to make these guys stand for the national anthem, there's going to be more turmoil that happens in the NFL than what's going on right now. So to me, it just seems like Donald Trump is, is either – guiding people on his side or making you want to just follow along with the NFL. And that is that is totally disrespectful to the players that have played the game. That is disrespectful to the players that are playing the game now. And that's totally disrespectful to the rest of the sports in general, not just the NFL, but the rest of professional sports uh, in the world today. And, and so to me, I, I just think it's totally disrespectful for what Donald Trump is doing. Yes, he is our president, and we, we follow along with whatever he, he says and whatever he decides to do. But, I mean, it's totally getting out of hand at this particular point because, like Stephen A. said, we're truly, truly missing the message in which this all started. It's become watered down. So now, for the people who got upset about the actual protest in the beginning, if now football players now start to move into another avenue of trying to get the message out, it's just going to create more problems going further.